Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I am Pat, and welcome back to the Queen of Wands. We're shaking, everybody. How you doing? I hope all is well, and I hope everyone is doing well through this coronavirus uh, issue. I want to give a shout out to Angela. Thank you for such a beautiful email. Um, I actually just read this morning. So I just want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers, as well as my previous subscribers. I love you all, and I hope that you have a beautiful weekend, okay? So I have to give you guys some um, energies, you know, that I've been channeling all week and everything, okay? So um, it's some toxic energy. Now, my last video was just four days ago, and it's amazing how the energies change so quickly, okay? So these are some energies that I have been um, channeling all week, and you guys know how I do it. As soon as I feel something, you know, I come and write it down on my pad here. Okay, so, um, but I do want to say, you know, that hand itching energy where somebody might could be getting some money. Okay, the next one is um, somebody's hiring an attorney. I hear the word pedophile. All right, so some energy going on like that. Someone could have been dealing or slept with someone who's underage. All right, and um, I just hear this word pedophile. Okay, and um, it seems like maybe a parent. Or someone knows about this and um, the parent could be uh, seeking to press charges that maybe someone slept with a minor that was under 18 okay and um, it also could be a court issue going on with an adoption you know also with a possible CPS you know child protective services issues those could be going on as well all right and um, it could be, you know, someone is definitely drinking. It's a lot of drinking going on, but, um, and hanging out at the hotel and sexing. It's some download energy going on. And also, um, it's a lot of sex, um, porn online energy, you know, meeting people online and probably hooking up. This also could be where someone's paying for sex. Okay. And, I hear the word narc. Narc. So if that means something to somebody, like a narco. Okay? And I hear um, a lot of birds singing. And um, you guys need to look that up. That means something to you guys. And, you know, I've been doing a lot of research on those blue jays and red cardinals. And they mean a lot of things, even as far as your deceased loved ones. A lot of healing. A lot of transformation. So just look that energy up. It was very interesting. Okay. And um, the next one is um, freedom. Somebody feel free. Like they're trying to regain their life, their strength. Okay. From toxic energy that they have been dealing with for quite a while. All right. Someone's definitely still wearing that mask. All right. So when I looked up the divine feminine's energy of how she could be feeling right now, I get 444. Four, four. Divine film, some of you are feeling healed and you're feeling happy again. And that's that energy of trying to regain your strength and your life again after this toxic relationship. Okay? The energy of the divine masculine at this time is 555. Five, five, okay? And that's, he feel obsessive. All right? You guys could be trying to walk away from the divine masculine. You guys could be kind of ignoring him. And he could be turning in to a little obsessive energy, okay? And he felt overwhelmed about things that's going on in his life. Your divine masculine or the divine masculine in general, what I'm picking up on is dark night of the soul energy, all right? They could still be out dealing with multiple people, just doing them. They feel unworthy of this connection, all right? They're definitely afraid of being alone. They could be dealing with multiple people as well as bringing in new people, okay? Someone feel like they're finally seeing the true side of who this person really is. They feel like this person is really revealing their true colors. And this might be some shit that you didn't know, okay? Um, there's a lot of rejection, the feeling of rejection, all right? And I get the world card energy, all right? Your world will be changing, all right? This could be the number 10. You guys could be seeing 10-10. Things are over. There's completions, cycles, 
are ending. Okay? The divine is saying, take it slow. Some of you divine films have met someone new. All right? This could turn into someone that you might marry. All right? This could be your king of pentacles. Okay? This could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. All right? And I feel like with fireside energy, there's a lot of things that's coming to an end. I see ten of wands. Okay? These are channel energies that I feel and that I've been feeling. And it's a lot of stuck energy on the divine masculine's energy. Okay? <clears throat> when I shuffle, I got this kind of energy. Tantric sex. This is multiple energies, threesomes, just tantric sex, dark night of the soul, somebody just looking for sex. Okay? And then I get this energy right behind it. All right? This is promiscuous. Just all sleeping around, horn around. This could be someone your divine masculine is dealing with, as well as the, the divine masculine. Or this even could be you, divine femme. Okay? You know, however it relates to you. Okay? And also, someone needs to check themselves. All right? So there's sexually transmitted diseases floating around. So make sure that you check yourself or you protect yourself. Okay? The next energies I'm getting. All right? This is divine masculine energy. He's definitely dealing with his addictions. He's definitely drinking a lot. This was some energies I was feeling. You know, be cautious of DUI energy. Someone could already have a couple, have one, but they're still doing the same shit. Toxic energy. Dealing with that alcoholism. Trying to escape, trying to block out things. You know, and this is also helping somebody with their impulses. You know, it's like when they go drink, somebody get into these little whole moves. Picking up holes. Okay. But however, this is the energy that someone always feel like it would be you and I. This is the energy that someone don't want to let you go. But somebody's living this life of wearing rose colored glasses. Not seeing shit for what it really is. Living a lie. Being fake. Wearing that mask. All right. This is the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, revealing the truth, getting clarity, finding out what the fuck is actually going on in a situation. All right. You could be dealing with a water sign behind that. But this is divine film energy, ascending, healing, getting ready for union, if there will be one, but working on yourself. Doing that soul work. Because you know inside your divine masculine is still stuck on the shadow side. The dark night of the soul energy. He's still indecisive. Still stuck. Unable to see things clearly. Living the life that he want to live. Alright. Not seeing the error in their ways. All right. And this is someone choosing a new pathway. OK. And this is also a transition card. So if you're losing, you know, a loved one, you do have my condolences. All right. So I'm going to get started with love and tragedy. All right. The energies I feel is someone really do want um, help here with alcoholism. Someone's starting to maybe realize that they have an addiction and they're just full of lust. All right. And someone is seeing that maybe they had a sex only relationship. All right. Someone's seeing that. It was just about sex and lust. Nothing else came out of this relationship. Holy Spirit. Give us the energies that we need to know for this reading. Hmm. Any energies that we need to know for this reading. Alrighty. So the energy of this reading is someone is always trying to lure people in. Lure people in. This is the divine masculine energy. Always luring people in. This is snake energy.
but this is also him getting lured in by snakes. Just being lured, caught up, you know, with people who dress sexy, who he might feel is beautiful. But that could be a snake in disguise, okay? But also, he felt this magnetic pull towards you, Divine Femme. All right? So he's like feeling conflicted. I feel this is two energies of lure and then a magnetic pull. There's a lust energy and there's a spiritual energy. Okay? Here's power and control. So he he's like... Trying to control the situation. He's standing in his power and his still ego energy here. Someone has, you know, responsibilities and loyalties elsewhere. Okay. They realize this. But they do want to be happy. This is the energy that, you know, you guys just want to be happy. All right. Is there any more energies that I need to know? All right, your divine masculine could definitely feel misunderstood. All right, he could be praying, seeking divine guidance, trying to hopefully, you know, feel like maybe that one day that people will look at him differently. He could have did a lot of things in his life to make people feel some kind of way about him, build a reputation about him, and definitely towards you, divine feminine. All right, the next energy is... There's a situation that you guys really need to take your time in. Take your time with, you know, even if you do choose to continue to deal with your divine masculine, there is an energy that you just need to take your time. You need to notice the red flags. There needs to be some healing. All right? I always told you guys, hurt people hurt people. Okay? You are ready, Divine Film, and you think you are. You're ready to go forward, you know, speed ahead. But just make sure that you take your time, you know, read the fine print. And this is, even if you choose to move forward with someone else, you have really got to stand back, reevaluate yourself, reevaluate what you just been through, okay? What you just tolerated. Reevaluate that before you go full speed ahead in a new relationship or even with your divine masculine. All right? Because, you know, a lot of us and the divine masculine could still be stuck in the past. Here's that stuck in the past energy here. All right? It could be someone that he's still dealing with or still have feelings for that leaves him and continuously bring him back to the past. But however, he know that you guys are meant to be together. Okay? He know this. But someone still gets stuck in the past, even though you're ready. All right? You got to keep moving forward. You can't be waiting on outcomes. And, you know, they know that you guys are meant to be together. And they do want to build with you. All right? They want to build with you. But they keep getting stuck in the past. All right? And don't forget, at some point, you might have to build alone. Don't be afraid, divine masculine or divine femme. At some point, you might have to build alone. All right? So I just want to pull some current energies of the divine femme. And I want to clarify that. Holy Spirit, what is the current energy of the divine femme? All right. So you feel like someone has a claim on your divine masculine. That's what you feel like, divine fam. You feel like someone has a claim on your divine masculine. You feel like your divine masculine has a tortured soul. All right. And you feel like maybe it's time for you to utilize your free will and go your own way. All right. So let me match that with you guys with my real feathers. <laughs> All right. A lot of you divine films have decided to utilize your free will and you have left the scene. All right. And you're taking your time very good towards anything new. There's that butterfly energy where you guys are evolving into something beautiful. 
All right. I love that. Beautiful energy. The bottom card here is because maybe you feel misunderstood as well. And you just don't even understand the thinking and logical, um, you know, abilities of your divine masculine. Okay. You're just tired of being stuck here. You're tired of being misunderstood as well. Like you're the problem. When you're not, you feel like this person is fragmented in his thinking, in his emotions, his feelings, and how he treats others. And this person could have fragmented you in your heart, torn it apart, hurt you, you know, left you in pieces. All right? But you are healing. All right. This was a toxic relationship. And now you guys are ready to heal your broken heart and take a risk in another direction. Okay. You're ready to take a risk and live your life and do something more positive. You want something pure. All right. You're definitely ready to leave the scene. And you don't want to be with someone who's just stuck with passion, desire. Just want to sleep with you, offering nothing else. Who's dealing with sexual addictions, possibly? Okay, that energy. Hmm. All right, Holy Spirit, could you please give me the energy? Look at this. You don't want to deal with somebody who can't change their ways. Who's always going to be running out looking for sex. Stuck in their addictions. Can't change their spots. Holy Spirit, what is the Divine Masculine message? What is his energy? Look at this shit again. Came out. They said this is his energy. Somebody who's stuck in their toxic energy. Stuck. Toxic. But they want to come together. But they are not healed. They're still stuck in toxicity. They know your strengths and weaknesses. And they could play upon that. And this is them luring you in with that snake energy. So just be careful with that coming together. Okay? Don't be so eager. Because this person is still torn. And you know this. This is mirror energy. You just got this card, Divine Pen. Mirror energy. Both of you guys are still torn. Okay? So this romance even would be fragmented. Okay? This romance needs healing to be pieced back together. And you guys need to take your time, even if you have to start off as friends. You can't just have a new relationship with a big elephant in the room. And it's a pink elephant. Okay? Because it's energy and clarity and messages that the divine film needs to know. Holy Spirit, about your soulmate. Okay? This person loves you. This person wants to come together with you. They realize that you are their soulmate. But you have to know things about this fragmented energy and about the fact that they can't change their ways because divine sin, this person is under a spell. He's under a spell. Someone, the karmic energy, could be telling the divine masculine, that I'm your soulmate. I'm your twin flame. And it continuously put this person under a spell. That's why this person is constantly undecided. Stuck. One minute they want something with you. The next minute you're ghosted. Because they're consistently being put under a spell. Divine is working with this energy. But you have to move forward with your life. Because you don't want to be stuck with someone who is stuck with someone who's constantly doing black magic on them. And it's keeping you stuck from moving forward with someone that you love, but they're stuck in a cycle. It's even if this person is not even with this karmic, they're still doing black magic on them. And that is how what? They keep luring this person in. That is how they keep luring this person in through black magic, through spells, love potions. It's working, all right? They don't even understand neither why they still be stuck with this person. But it's all because this person continuously puts spells on this person. 
They continuously do it. And it's like, even the divine masculine is like, not even understanding. Very confused why he feels some way about somebody else, but yet he even, like, mentally feel like he's stuck and don't understand. And he want to take a risk just like you, divine fam. He want true love. He want his real love. But he don't understand why he keep getting stuck. And it's because someone cons consistently put spells on him. All right. So both of you guys want to take a risk. Divine is advising you both to take your time and start off as friends. If this is what you guys want. Because definitely a lot of healing is needed here. Okay. All right. A lot of healing is needed here. A lot of truth and a lot of clarity is needed here. Okay. So I want to go off into John Holland's psychic tarot deck. Okay. I just want to get out some energies. Can I please have some energies of what's going on with the divine masculine? He's definitely stuck in his addictions. Dark night and soul energy. All right. So they can't go to the strip club. They can't go to the club. But it's like they could already know people that they're connecting with. They could be traveling to people's houses. The divine masculine, truth could have came out. Someone could have found out the truth about something that the divine masculine was doing, had going on. A secret could have been revealed. And also the energy that maybe he wants to tell you the truth about the situation, divine fam. Maybe he made the choice. All right. And it could be 222 energy that you guys are seeing. But their overall being, maybe something here in the stomach, they got, you know, like, issues, how they feel about, you know, maybe it could be a health issue. Maybe it's something that's killing them inside their stomach to tell you the truth about something. Maybe it's making them feel sick. They have done so much damage in the situation that divine is probably pushing somebody to tell the truth in the situation. They could be seeing the light in the situation. <clears throat> because their overall being wants a new beginning with you. But they know that they must tell you the truth first. They overall wants to apologize. They know that they can't have something new without telling you the truth. They can't come in on a faulty ass foundation without telling you the truth. They whole mind, body, and soul got to be susceptible to this journey, to this spiritual truth before they can connect with you, divine fam. Divine is not having it anymore. This is like divine saying truth must come out. They could be getting downloads about what it is that they need to do. And it's truth. Even if you guys don't, um, you know, accept this person as your divine masculine anymore and choose to move on with your soulmate, at least you have known the truth about this person. All right? Someone's birthday could be on the 20th. Someone's birthday could be in February. Someone wants a new beginning. Someone's birthday could be on the 2nd. Someone could be 22. But someone's in solitude. All right. This is the divine fam. Okay. Divine fam, you're in solitude. You could be semi heartbroken. And it's due to you partially trying to heal. All right. You feel like you're ready to write the chapter, the next chapter to this love story. It's still more to be wrote. One side has a blank page. Okay, it's still more to this love story to be wrote. Okay, and you're wondering when are you going to get this journey started? When will there be closure to these toxic cycles? When will the divine masculine change his ways? You guys stay to yourself. You stay in solitude. You don't have a lot of friends. You don't care about that type of shit. You're, you don't care about being popular. All right, you love yourself. You're healing. You're learning. You feel like a lot of people won't truly understand this twin flame connection. Holy Spirit, give me this clarity on some solitude that's happening here with this solitude. 
All right. Because you're like aware. All right. This is third eye energy. You're aware of what's going on. All right. You're suspicious. You're awakened. All right. It's like you got eyes in the back of your head. You know what you want and you want a commitment. You don't want to um, keep worrying about what's going on. You don't want to have trust issues. All right. You're concerned about this energy. All right. It's like you're checking, you know, knowing that you are protected too. the energy that you might not feel protected. You like watching everywhere. You're suspicious. You're looking at stuff. You're concerned. All right. You could be spying as well. But you are concerned about your spiritual union. All right. You just wonder when is it going to get started? When are you ever going to see this? It is a spiritual union there. But there's solitude. There's healing in regards to this commitment. This is definitely a soul to make, um, make connection. But somebody got to make the right choice in regards to that connection. Mm -hmm. Somebody got to start manifesting, working, employing themselves, working towards this, putting in the seeds. All right. Somebody got to start putting in the energy here and close out stuff that don't serve them. You know, illuminate this moon secret energy here. All right. Illuminate that to someone. Close out these cycles. 999. Something needs to end. Closure needs to happen here. All right. It needs to be what? Positive movement forward. All right. And that's a blockage right now because it's not happening. Somebody not seeing the positive side of things, not making the right choices and stagnant energy. All righty. So that's what I got. So divine said until these things happen, happen, you guys need to have patience. Need to have patience in regards to this. All right. Until truth can come out the right way. You guys really got to have patience. Okay. So I want to go into my divine masculine deck. And let's see what's going on in the divine masculine's head at this moment. He could be in a crossroads. He could be at a crossroads. All right. He could be stuck in situations. I feel like some of them could be legal. I feel like that's some of the main concern on the divine masculine's mind. I just hear legal. All right. Holy Spirit, please give us the energy of the divine masculine at this time. Holy Spirit, give us the energies of the divine masculine at this time. And I'm using the journey to the divine masculine. All right. And this is it. You guys have a lot of telepathic communication amongst each other. Divine Femme and Divine Masculine. You guys are telepathically communicating with each other. You guys could be like talking, saying words, you know, seeing things, seeing each other's faces. Almost like a touch energy. Okay. Holy Spirit, the energy of the Divine Masculine. You feel vulnerable. You feel stuck. You feel unworthy. Of your love. He know he have brought tears to you. Your divine masculine could be crying over you. The loss of you. He know he have taken things too far. He know he have taken his time revealing himself. Taking off his mask. Revealing what's going on in his life to you. Keeping secrets. Being deceptive. And now he know divine film. With your um, empath skills. That you see right through him. And he feel very vulnerable around you. Holy Spirit. Three more energies here. He could be working on his stability. As I said, he have to have that stability and that foundation together. Before you guys can have this union. So he's definitely working on that. All right. He's trying to feel lovable. All right. He know that you are, but you might not feel this way towards your divine masculine. All right. So he could be trying to work on his self love. You know, it starts within you before you can love someone else. You must love yourself first. All right. But he's definitely dealing with his karma. All right. He could have made you feel unlovable. 
All right. To have torn you down as a divine femme. And your divine masculine is definitely facing karma. And he's stuck with tower moments out here. All right. Because he's stuck with a karmic family. All right. He's gotten himself in a karmic situation. He could be working with this family. He could be living with this family. He could have a child with this person in a karmic family. But he's definitely dealing with this karma. And divine saying this is all things that happened after you guys departed. Now he have a hardship here. It's a hardship going on here. I feel like children have a major role in this hardship. Holy Spirit. What is going on here with the divine masculine? He's concerned about his divine feminine walking away. This is what he's thinking about. He's stuck in a karmic family situation. He's facing a hardship. And he missed his divine fam. He love you. He's thinking about you. He want to be with you. There's a lot of emotions. He want to confess to you and take off his mask about what's going on. He want to reveal to you his secrets that he's been holding back because he's afraid of your judgment. Okay? He's afraid because he knows he has been ghosting you in and out of your life. He's ready to talk to you. And he's ready to reveal why he's been ghosting you, Divine Film. Holy Spirit was the energy. He want to tell you that he have learned his lessons. He want to tell you about the karmic family and the lesson that he learned. The wake up call that he got. The secrets, the deceptions, the lies. He want to reveal himself about how he got into this karmic family. Okay? He want to let you know and he want to step up here and say, I love you, divine fam. He is worthy, but at this moment, he felt unworthy. And the next card is what? Unworthy. This is channel energy that I feel from the divine masculine. He feels unworthy of your love. He's at a crossroads of taking off his mask and confessing this to you. Okay? Because divine fam, you are definitely on his mind. Okay, he want this spiritual union. He want this couple. But right now, he feel unworthy of this love. He's learning his lessons. He could be in divine university. All right, so that's some energies that I got of how the divine masculine is doing. And he's trying to gain his independence and be a better person for you, divine fam, as well as for his own self, his own value, his own worth. Okay, that's beautiful energy of him trying to grow and be a better person. Okay. So, the next energies that I want to pull, but definitely, he's dealing with this addiction. And it's definitely the bottle. That could be his best friend right now, okay? Holy Spirit, can you please let me know what is going on with the Divine Masculine? What is the secrets that we need to know that's going on with the Divine Masculine? What is the secrets that we need to know? What's brewing, Holy Spirit? I'm using Fire Witch Tarot. That's my girl. She got some good juicy decks, okay? And please, you know, know that I am an adult. This is an adult channel, okay? If you get offended about shit that I say, please find another tarot reader, okay? This is my eighth invitation for you to find another tarot reader 
okay? If I'm too aggressive, if I am cuss a lot, or, you know, I don't think I'm fucking God, and all this kind of shit that you guys talk sometimes in my email, find another fucking tell reader, okay? Thank you. All right? So, what's brewing here? What's brewing, okay? What's brewing is your Divine Masculine is tired of all of the drama that he continues to create, okay? If he continues, you know, if he, um, he's tired of all the drama, drama that's in his life. <laughs> Tongue-tied. You know, energy, you know, I guess, you know, Divine said you had to let them know that because, you know, it keeps pissing you off from time to time. The one or two people that says negative things that try to hate on other people's energy. All right. So I had to make that clear. OK, so that's another energy of defending yourself and standing up for yourself in your growth. OK. So, however, the Divine Masculine is tired of the drama that he consistently brings in his life. And it's the drama that he brings, and he's starting to realize that he brings it. And, and people are just reflecting off the shit that he do, and that he say, and shit that he don't do. Okay? Alright, Holy Spirit. All right, there's that gym energy where somebody could be going to the gym, okay? Somebody could be dating gym, but also something is going on at the gym. Somebody could be working on their weight, all right? But maybe it's a little flirting going on here. Something's going on here. He could be running away from a situation that's no longer servicing him, running away from drama that he consistently creates. Okay, he could have been fucking around with somebody who um, have weight issues, you know, or who have gained some weight and he's not happy, who've been trying to go to the gym and he's trying to run away from this person. That could be consistent drama as well. Okay, this person is always angry. So he's running away from always being angry and he's trying to write some shit out. He's just trying to write some shit out. He's trying to ignore shit that's happening around him. And he's just trying to write out a situation. All right? But something's definitely going on with somebody at the gym and some weight issues, I feel like. Okay? Maybe somebody's complaining about some pounds that was gained since everybody's at home and shit. That's some energy that I feel. Somebody could be running away, doing other things. Just like I said, somebody just at home, like, having beers, watching old sports, eating junk food, snacking a lot. It could be some issues, you know, about that kind of stuff. Somebody could be angry. Somebody could be trying to get out the house because they're tired of, you know, arguing with somebody. All right. Somebody's definitely selling drugs, doing drugs, buying drugs. All right. It could have been somebody wants to come in and see what you're doing. All right. There could have been a breakup. This is a lot of guarded energy, shielded energy. So your divine masculine wants to come in. OK, but he's very shielded and guarded. He already know that maybe, you know, what's going on with him. OK. He's definitely not telling you the truth about a situation. He's hiding something. These could be test results. He's hiding things. All right. But when he come in, he's not going to tell you that. All right. He could also be under investigation. All right. Somebody could be watching him. It might be a situation where he got to burn evidence in regards to a investigation. Somebody need to check themselves. Um, somebody need to go to the doctor, get checked. All right. It could be any kind of test. It could be um, a health test, a sugar test, um, uh, just any kind of test, a cholesterol. Somebody's like a little unhealthy. All right. And also could be an STD test, of course. All right. So somebody could be gossiping, but somebody's definitely happy that all these nail salons and all this shit open back up. 
Maybe somebody's dealing with an owner of a nail salon. All right. I feel like maybe this nail salon could be under investigation. All right. Something could be happening at a nail salon to where they could be under investigation. I just felt that energy here. All right. And your divine mask will see you as a diamond in the rough. But I feel like they got underhanded things going on. Or they're dealing with someone in this energy. Even though they see you as a diamond in the rough, um, you could, you know, see you as somebody special. I just feel like it's a lot of stagnant energy. And this is really not going anywhere. Okay? You guys are definitely trying to align yourself and work, you know, in what's best for you. Okay? It says dead stagnant energy. It's like it was a sudden stop about things. Because I guess... The universe is stepping in and aligning some energies, okay? So I want to clarify on aligning these energies. What's brewing Holy Spirit with the Divine Masculine? Right? The Divine is stepping in because this union has to be protected. Both energies have to be protected, all right? Because people keep going back to old, outdated stuff, not doing stuff, not moving forward, staying stuck in situations, stagnant energy, you know, keep replaying the old shit, keep reliving the old cycles again, open them back up, going back to them. Holy Spirit, what is the energies that we need to know? All right. Old outdated family values and ways of sticking with families and sticking with them to the end, no matter what. How toxic it is, how unloving it is, how uncaring it is, because it's a lot of insecurities within this person, your divine masculine. They just stay insecure of starting something new or having something real because you might want something with them versus them staying where they at. And it's not, you know, expected of them anything. They do anything, don't have to do nothing, bring nothing to the table. They insecure. They can cheat. They can hold around. They can be promiscuous. They could be expecting a baby within this family situation. They could have somebody pregnant. Okay, and they just gonna stick in with this poor bitch that they deal with who run their life and put black magic on them. All right, I feel like the energy of their pregnancy could be with somebody that they just slept with. It's not even with the person that they're with or trying to get back with. Somebody could have found out this energy and now they know they fucked up in a situation. Okay, they know they fucked up in a situation. Okay, somebody could have got caught up and this is how they end up getting somebody pregnant because they could have gotten caught up in a situation, sneaking around, hanging out at the hotels and not wearing condoms. Okay, and they fucked up in a situation. Now somebody just sit at home and watch movies all the time. They want to take you out on a date, but now they just caught up in energies that, you know, they're stuck in, not moving forward. You know, I feel like maybe... This full person that they was already with could have found out that they're expecting a child, maybe by somebody else. All right. Somebody was pregnant here. OK. Or is currently is still pregnant. This could be a secret. And also there's a lot of depression going on. Your divine masculine could be mentally depressed. OK, because they keep bringing drama into their lives. All right. They always got to fight and have tower moments. Someone could need an attorney here. They have to defend themselves in a the situation. OK. And now they want to come in and make a promise to you. But I don't feel like they're going to tell you about all this toxic energy and this spoiled bitch and expecting a baby. And the fact that somebody was hauling around still. OK. The other energy I just got is because they could have been dealing with a karmic who is being promiscuous and horn around, they're not even sure if this person is pregnant with their baby. Okay? That's the other energy I got. Somebody could be burning evidence. Somebody could be trying to fool somebody as well as, you know, this pregnancy. When I just mentioned that, this is the card came out. Somebody could be fooling somebody. All of this shit is total drama. All right. This is just total drama. Somebody could be fooling somebody. You're trying to con somebody into the fact that they could be pregnant. All right. 
because they know that this person is coming in for you. They could have tried to trap this person. They know this person is coming for you. Okay, this is some energy. They know that they got some fake friends. Some of their friends could have told them that they still love you, that they want to be with their divine fam. They might be didn't, maybe didn't say divine fam, but your name. It could have slipped out. You know, and now they're totally mad, okay? And they could be trying to trap the divine masculine with the pregnancy, okay? Because they know maybe the divine masculine was trying to align, him, align himself and go a different way and end the situation. Here's the upside down card when I don't do reverses. That they knew he was coming in after you. These are karmics who are watching these videos and they know what's going on with this journey. Okay? Holy Spirit, please give me a little karmic energy in regards to this 2020 What is the karmic energy that's going on with the divine masculine and the karmic Holy Spirit? What is the karmic energy that's going on with the divine masculine and the karmic? Gossip, bullshit, just watching shit go down. Stay the fuck out of it. Mind your business and let them handle their own karma. All right? Because they're dealing with a bunch of fake-ass friends and fake-ass people. Okay? What is the karmic energy? The karmic could be investigating, spying, also under investigation. Okay? Brainstorming, plotting, finding ways to stay in this connection, to not lose the divine masculine. Holy Spirit, what is the karmic energy? Holy Spirit. Trying to, it's over. <laughs> the karmic energy is, is over. There's a separation. There could be a divorce. Something is completely over. Okay? The karmic energy, Holy Spirit. They're a fucking hater. They're a hater. They're jealous and they're insecure. Okay, the next energy I got, the next <laughs> is what? Fucking insecure. Okay? Insecure about a family situation or having a family with, you know, your divine masculine. They know this is not going to work and they try to trap him in a family situation. They're very insecure because what? Divine said they're what? Let me get that. I don't want y'all to miss that boo. Bugaboo. It's a bugaboo bitch. This is that low IQ bitch, okay, who don't know how to handle rejection, okay, who somebody he could have set up shop with that was a secret as well, all right, that he hooked up with, all right. This is somebody that do drugs or sell drugs that could be under an investigation, okay, that could have been giving your divine masculine money, all right. This person could have been, you know, not so pretty. But he hooked up with this person because he could get something out of them. That has been the energy of the Divine Masculine, hooking up with people to get things from them. Okay? To get things from them. You know? Ain't no love here. Alright? But now they see who is the star. They see you as a diamond in the rough. They could definitely want to give you a ring. Okay? Because they know... You have chilled out. You don't get caught up in this bullshit. This is you being chilled out. This has been your energy since the last video. You're minding your business. Thank you for um, taking heed to what I said. Stay out of this shit. Let him continue to have his own karma, his own toxic energy, his own bugaboo bitches. Okay? You guys don't deserve that. Let the divine masculine just learn his lessons. Let him deal with his what? His fucking drama. He create this shit, all right? He create this, but yet he always played a victim, all right? You can't play the victim when you create this shit. You always act like he busy. All he doing is being busy getting caught up in bullshit, okay? So he could be a single parent. He could be dealing with a single parent. He could have a small child, a small son. It needs some parenting. He needs to be parenting. He needs to be spending time with his kids. Or definitely, this is a child that he got caught up with. Somebody tricked him into this, manipulated him into this pregnancy. Somebody trapped him. 
All right? He got played like a puppet. Thank you. The next card is what? Betrayed. Lied to. He could have found out maybe a son wasn't his. Okay? He could have had, you know, found out maybe this son wasn't his. He was betrayed. He was manipulated and lied to. He could have been supporting his son and found out it wasn't his. All right? Bi biologically. All right? From the spoiled bitch. All right? Somebody played him and was taking money from him knowing it wasn't his child. Okay? That's another issue. And the light bulb came on and he found out this shit. Okay? He found out this shit. Somebody could be going to the gym, working out, all right, working on their weight. Divine said maybe he found out she was fucking around with somebody at the gym. And this who the baby daddy could be. All right? All right, and what? He know he fucked up. Let somebody play him like that. You know, let somebody think that that was his son all along. He was probably taking care of his son, had feelings for this child. And knowing all along she was playing him, fucking around with somebody at the gym. Could have, you know, made this child with someone else. And all along was in a family situation with him, making him think that this was his child. There could have been a tower moment in regards to this. All right. But however... This same situation, you know, he got her pregnant. He could have, you know, somebody pregnant again. He could have found out that one child is not his, but now he could have someone else pregnant again. And he just feel like he just keep fucking up. But this is the lessons that the divine is putting in his face, his karma. Damn. Okay. What did I say? Because this person won't align himself. He won't align himself. He keep going out here being promiscuous and doing things. So God keep putting these issues and tower moments in his life that he has to deal with. Keep presenting him with lessons of life that he has to deal with. Once he get out of one situation, he go right back into another situation. All right? You can't control, you know, the divine. You have to go by the book. You have to learn these lessons. And I feel like the divine masculine is not learning his lessons pretty well. And he continues to get caught up in situations. Okay? He continues to. All right? So I just want to feel some energies of how can he be feeling about you at this time? Using the love destined oracle. How is the divine masculine feeling about you at this time, divine fam? How is he feeling about you at this time? Holy Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Holy the Earth and the Earth, Holy Spirit. All right? He feel like you just relaxed and chilled out. He know that you're not living this toxic life. That you're not in all this drama. He know that you're just relaxed. This is the energy that he's mirroring from you. Okay? And he's just trying to make choices and options. He could have a lot of things going on, a lot of decisions that he needs to make. He could have options, you know, but he also feel like you might have options. All right. He know that you basically putting distance in between him. All right. You guys could have told him that you're moving, possibly moving out of state, out of the town. But you're just ready to put distance in between this. And that was one of your choices that you made. OK, but also you're thinking about traveling. Going on a trip, you're trying to relax, you're trying to heal, and you want to find some peace. Now, I don't know if you could do that right now, okay? But that is one of your things that you want to do, okay? Holy Spirit. Right. He know that you're leaving and that you're putting distance in between him and this relationship. That you're done. All right? The energy is that he's very jealous. He's very insecure, okay, that you're leaving, that you want to be a new person alone, that you want to leave this toxic relationship, okay, and that you found your self-love. 
that you healed and you worked on yourself. You're not the same person that you used to be and stuck, you know, with this toxic energy of letting him control you. Okay? When I look at this card, you know, just like an angry person who lost control when they had control, but they lost control. I look at this card and I see narcissism. Okay? Holy Spirit, give me the energy that I need to know. All right, because they know you got a new perspective, Divine Fam. This is also the karmic energy that could be spying on you as well. But your Divine Masculine know that you have a new perspective on life. All right, and this karmic energy also could be trying to get a new perspective on life by monitoring you. All right, copying you. Okay. Holy Spirit. What's the energy? All right. Your divine masculine could know, could be in solitude. He's in solitude about his choices, his decision, his drama. He's just in solitude about things that's going on in his life, about you, divine fam. All right. Because he's always out there trying to be fake, always smiling in everybody's face, knowing that he living this toxic life and got all this drama going on behind him, behind the scenes. Okay. And he know he want to apologize. So he go out there and be fake and kick with everybody. But in his heart, he wants to apologize to you. Okay? So it's like he living a little fake life. And this is what he think about. And he want to give you some truth and clarity. About what's really going on. Alright? You could be starting to go out now. Divine family getting popular as well. Okay? He want to give you some truth and clarity about someone or a situation that he released. Okay? He want to apologize to you. Alright? About this deception and this mask that he was wearing. He want to apologize to you about possibly having a son or telling you about someone deceiving him about a son. Alright? About a son. He's still dealing with childhood inner wounds. He want to let you know that he want to be happy and that he see that you're happy. Okay? But he could also want you to know that he have a child, a pregnancy coming. Somebody could be due. Somebody could be like seven or eight months. If they have not already had the baby, they could be possibly almost due. Okay? And this is a secret. All right? That's a secret. This is someone, you know, that's holding a secret. And I don't feel like this is with the person he was even with. I feel like this is with someone else. Because I feel like your divine masculine has multiple secret relationships. All right? And this is a lesson that he had to learn. This is karma. This could have been, this is some recent energy as well. Okay? That he just recently found out maybe. And this is some of his lessons. Of going around fucking people. And then wow boom unprotected. Find out that he's pregnant. This is the same shit that's probably happened to him before. That he don't even know if this pregnancy is his. Again he put himself back in that same cycle. But now he want to first start. Because he have learned a lot of lessons. Okay. And this card here. And he have a lot of nostalgic feelings for you, Divine Film. I get the energy that as soon as a karmic hear this energy, they might run out and do the spells and the black magic again. They want your forgiveness and your redemption. They want to tell you about what's been going on in these situations, okay? Because they want to heal with you. And they know that you have been healing, okay? From this breakup. And they want you to help them heal from a breakup. Okay? The energy I'm getting here. They're buying through this card out of here. And they might want to call you and communicate with you. Some of you guys have blocked off this person. The energy is too toxic for you. It's too draining for you. Too suffocating for you. Alright, Holy Spirit. Because what? It triggers you. 
Divine always confirm this shit. It triggers you. It hurt you. One minute you're healing, and the next minute you're back in a toxic cycle of triggers. Okay? That's what this person does to you. You need to release, you know, take a retreat. Go get out in nature. Okay? All right, so for those of you who are in separation, there's a, a message, all right? <laughs> this card won't let me put it up. And it's just stating, this is how your divine masculine could be dealing with his problems right now through the bottle, okay? So some energy I'm going to give you is you and I. That's how he feel. But he's dealing with a lot of issues, and you guys can't let these issues intervene with your life and your growth and your healing. Okay? These are not your issues. These are issues that the Divine Masculine has brought on himself within his own life. Okay? Holy Spirit, if Divine Masculine could talk to the Divine Film at this time, he wants you to have faith and believe in him and his love. Okay? Holy Spirit... I can't wait until we are alone. That's a lot of sexual, sexual energy. Holy Spirit. I'll keep you safe. He will protect you. And that's what he could be possibly trying to do now. Okay? And nor time nor distance can tear us apart. This is how he feel. That he will always be connected to you. Okay? And you're the only one that I see. All right. Holy Spirit, what are the messages that the divine Pam would like to say from her heart space to her divine masculine? All right. What are the messages? Divine Pam. I'm going to read them all. I have never forgotten you. You never forgot your divine masculine. And you're basically saying you will never. And you're letting him know how much you miss him. You miss this love. You miss your divine masculine. You are my happily ever after. Okay? Divine masculine, we are always sleeping under the same stars. You guys are definitely dreaming about your divine masculine. Okay? And you feel this connection of you and I as well. Okay? And you are my moon and my stars. Definitely in a telepathic, romantic, nighty mood. All right? So this is what I have for you guys. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. And I'll be getting up more vi videos today and tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Peace out.